This tutorial is brought to you by Free Switch Solutions. Get the Free Switch Advantage. Welcome back to Free Switch with Fred. My name is Fred Matessa and today I'm going to be covering phrase macros in Free Switch. Before I dive any further, I would want to tell you something really, really important. The Glucon conference is coming soon and that will be July 23rd to 26th. 2018. If you have not signed up yet, please run and sign up because this is a conference where you meet the developers of Free Switch, where you meet all guys who have used Free Switch, and you can share your experience and get more knowledge, or you can get answers to your questions. Something else of importance: there will be a folder training at the end of it all. So feel free to sign up for the free switch training. That's where you will meet me and other developers who will be training you in free switch and will be addressing more questions. Let's get to business. It is frequently necessary to piece together smaller sound recordings to create longer ones. Free switch phrase macro system is a very powerful tool for not only piecing together individual sound files but also for adding a bit of logic to your phrases in this video we will create a simple dial plan extension that will read back to the caller their extension number we will also use a phrase macro to handle the work of stitching together sound prompts and utilizing the set application to read back the caller's extension number in our case, I'm going to create our Dell plan in a file called 03 underscore custom.xml where I'll put this small piece of Dell plan, which is, and I'll call it who is calling. It will, of course, involve the destination number, which is 1500. And then when someone calls 1500, this free switch will answer the call and then play back the phrase macro, which you'll see shortly. After creating that dial plan, you then go and go ahead and create the phrase macro itself. I'm going to create the phrase macro in a custom.xml file in the following location that is conf forward slash lang n ivr. And then when I create that file, I will have to go ahead and reload XML on the free switch console. So the key to this operation is is the line in the Dell plan extension created. So when we look at the Dell plan extension, we have a playback application which normally takes a file name as an argument, but in this case, when it sees the word phrase with full colon, then the playback will look for the phrase macro instead of an audio file. In this case, we call a phrase macro named who am I and we give it the argument of the username variable, which contains the ID of the calling user. At this point, the phrase macro takes control. So when that argument is sent over to the macro, the input value is matched against the regular expression in the pattern. And if it contains only digits, our pattern will capture those into dollar one special variable so the dollar one special variable will contain our pattern or our username or our caller id after the regular expression we have a bit of logic to help us decide what to do if the input matches the pattern then the action inside the match node will be executed if the pattern contains something else other than numbers or digits the action inside no match node will be executed so in this case we shall simply play a message there was that was an invalid entry The number 1000.
Question number 1028. Extension number 1002. Number 1028. Number 1028. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. If you want to advance your knowledge in free switch, check out our website for the best training offers, or you can meet us at the Glucon Conference in Illinois, Chicago.